All right, guys, welcome back. We have here with us Black Legion and Miles Jane Intoxicated. Uh, this is somewhat of a grudge match. Uh, it's going to be really fun to watch. You have two separate teams here. You got some of a kite team and a Blaster Ferox team. Yeah, this is really interesting. Uh, Black Legion was the dark horse last year until they got knocked out by Outbreak, who eventually took second place. But uh, this year, Uki, the previous FC for Black Legion, is now the FC of the Mildly Intoxicated team. This is going to be really interesting. This is the super rush blast Feroxes versus this incredibly high kite team we've got what are these sentry drones dropping oh no these are lights from these uh tons of healers there's so many drones going to come out from these healers these healers don't have launchers so they are fit like bricks and are going to try and run from these blaster Feroxes like there's no tomorrow yeah, what we're going to see is you're going to see these drones, these light augmented warrior drones coming out, and they're going to go for those uh, Kaldari Navy hook bills. Hook bills have five mids, mids each, which means they have tons of utility. Uh, as you can see, uh, you don't see any Eivor on the field yet, besides the one Gamlin stiletto. You start to see a web on the second stiletto. And as you see, Black Legion start to really go for the, the tackle of the other team. Uh, these Feroxes, they have a mix of neutron and electron blasters. Uh, if you can get a zoom in on that, you can see that. Uh, but it's definitely a close range setup. The Ferox as well has a open mid slot for utility smart bomb or uti or a uh, gang link. Yeah, no, it's gonna be really coming down to these hook builds catching these heals. Uh, we're just about to see one of these uh, stilettos go down. There it goes. Uh, now, it's interesting to note that the mildly intoxicated team has no logistics, so if they get caught, they're in a lot of trouble. They can only boost themselves for so long. But we have the Basilisk going down for the Black Legion team. Oh, comes back up. There we go. It looks like it has possibly one of those ancillary shield boosters that everyone loves this tournament. Been on there, bouncing back and forth. But it might be in a lot of trouble as soon as it runs out of charges. Yeah, it looks like these hook builds are rocket launcher fit as well, uh, while you have the uh, Ferox's blasters again. Uh, the Gila's, however, do they do not have any launchers, it looks like, on their ships themselves. So it, it's an important thing to note. They do get a drone bonus, but they also have a missile bonus and a tank bonus on the Gila's. Uh, so them not actually using missiles, it's kind of odd what, what they crammed on there uh, that they weren't able to do a few launchers. Yeah, no. Uh, Zephranti in uh, his Gila is tackled. So we'll see if break the tank. The Gila has such a massive tank. It has that resistance bonus and the drone bonus to do so much damage with drones. And important to note for these drone setups, the new drone damage augmenter uh, makes these so much better than they were in the past. What did we just lose? Yep, the Basilisk just went down for a certain team. At, uh, so you're going to see a big change here. Uh, these Gila's have, have such a huge HP uh, buffer. Um, I'm not sure they're going to be able to break them. As, as you see, this... Uh, this healing just b bouncing up and down with the booster it is fitting locally you know i'd be interested to see i don't think that's an extra large maybe not even a large it might be a large but uh one of the downsides of fitting fitting these high-end ancillary shield boosters is it hurts your grid your grid and cpu are so heavily used oh we're about to see a heal up break out of shield it's gonna go real down yeah. real quick if it go <laughs> oh there it goes oh, oh, no uh, that bets down, and you, you have Frito's t uh, Frito from Black Legion's Ferox and Half Shield. Uh, is, they're going to need to get as much DPS out onto this Drake and uh, other Gila before they lose more of their DPS. Um, I'm actually really surprised that you're not seeing more Eeyore coming out of these hook bills. Uh, like I said, they have five mid slots, lots of utility, uh, but so far we only see webs and uh, uh, sensor, uh, not sensor jams, but uh, jams. Yeah, I know. Uki is actually very well on the field. There's nobody even close to him, but the stiletto getting chased down by drones. They're trying to kill off this tackle so that this Drake and this Gila don't get caught. I I'm pretty sure that Drake is faster than the Ferox, correct? The Drake, uh, currently the Feroxes are going about uh, 1200, and the Drakes are Drakes at 163, but the Drake itself isn't in Noyading up here. Uh, that appears so it, it might just be there to uh, soak up damage and there's nothing close to it so it really has no reason to run and use that cap uh, as you see we're Frito's... about to lose yeah, go ahead yeah oh, oh, uh, uh, we're about to lose one of these blaster fracks it's already in structure uh taking out a third of the dps for this team and only one hook bill remaining if this hook bill goes down i don't know if two just two blaster fraxes 
can do anything to this mildly intoxicated team. Well, the problem you see here is, like I said, they have a kiting team, a base team, and these blaster paroxes have to burn out. Uh, and as they get closer to this uh, Drake, he's just turning around and moving away from them. So they're just kiting into just a wall of missiles. You know, and the thing is, the separation right now is so good for these two, for the Drake and the Gila. The, uh, this Ferox is try this Fer these two Ferox's are trying desperately to catch a strike. You got a phone call, Michael Bolton. I, I know uh, I have a call. I'm trying to shut- Down, down, to, down to two Ferox's uh, left for a Black Legion. <laughs> uh, you're not seeing much of any damage on uh, any of them right now, but it looks like they will be going after Rorals and his Ferox. You saw the Sleto down for Island Intoxicated. They have one solo left, Drake and Gila. Uh, jams and webs being applied to the Gila and the Drake. So there's looks like they're starting to get some of that E-War spread out as ships die. It's going to be interesting to see if those Feroxes can catch up to these hostile ships, get their shields down before they lose another blaster boat. Yeah, no. Miley and Toxie does have the points lead, so even if they can't kill these two Feroxes and this hookbill, they will still win on points, but it's a dangerous thing to do because if you don't have enough points at the end of the day, then you're in trouble and you're not going to make it to the group stages. So I'm sure Uki is a very smart guy. He knows he has to make something happen, has to kill more of these ships to ensure that he makes it through. But we'll have I mean, to see. Luxor if he for happen. the Black Legion team uh, entering half shield. So, I mean, he's, he's dropping rapidly. And I think this is going to be the end of the match with, with both these guys just dropping so quickly in their Feroxes. Yeah, I think it's. He's, stack, he's tackled by the stiletto. All these drones put a ton of damage with the new drone aug drone augmenter. How do you think? Do you think this team is viable without that drone damage augmenter? That's a good question. Oh well, that's you saw that they dropped their launchers for a uh, bigger shield booster. Uh, they packed in the drones, and they I'm sure they probably have some sort of a drone link in their mids to help augment the damage. So I mean, they get the bonus. They're great ships. Um, you see them a lot in, on Tranquility uh, in regular fleet engagements. I think Nulli is going to have their their own uh, Gila fleet, so they're definitely viable. Um, I just I think they just got outmatched. Uh, the Black Legion team got outmatched being a blaster based setup versus these long range ships. Do you think pilot skill from the uh, Black Legion team could have won this as, won them this match? Obviously, they have good pilots for Mylene Toxicate. It's it's a large part the old Black Legion team, I believe. So, do you think that it was just sort of like they brought the B team from last year from Black Legion, or do you think it was just a setup win? I think it was just a uh, rock, paper, scissors that you can't get close enough with blasters to do damage to these Gila's and uh, the Drake that, that are sitting that started out 40k away, or actually it was 50k away because Black Legion came in at 10. So they might tag they... this stiletto. Any points count, even if you even if you lose, you still have a chance to make it to the group stages. If they tag the stiletto, that's only helping them tomorrow. It's sitting at like 40% structure, but I don't think... Oh, it's too far away for anybody to put any damage on it. it oh no, they still definitely have a chance. Out uh, of there. Black Legion scored 20 points so far, Molly and Toxic 32. Um, 20 points is a lot better than a lot of these shutout games that have been happening so far this year. Um, so they have a lot more of a chance than some of the teams that say went to 62.5 to 0. Yeah. I think that uh, Black Legion just trying to get this last hook bill to survive. I don't know if it can survive against the literally monstrous locust cloud of augmented warriors. Uh, it's sort of dangerous. You feel threatened when you're in a little tiny frigate and there's all these drones just flying all around you. It's like you're getting stung <laughs> by bees constantly. Like, it really, I'm afraid of bees in real life. So it really, it's just, it, I'm having like a phobia attack. When I look in, I'm zooming in on this, uh, on this hook bill. I just can't, I don't know if I can handle it. Yeah, it's a good thing you're not mustache. actually uh, participating then, Michael Bolton. Uh, you might might go in some sort of I shock. I do think it's a good thing I'm uh, not participating <laughs> under any circumstances, but... Uh, <laughs> but you see the uh, Infume and the Hookbill is about to enter armor. Once he hits armor, he's going to die very quickly uh, as he tries to pull range to just survive. Yeah, no. So how do you... Here's a good... What's your favorite weapon system in EVE? Oh, Autocan is by far. Uh, Slepner, I have to say, is probably my favorite sub, uh, subcap ship, and we've seen that quite a bit today. And, and not to mention my Ragnarok, which is awesome. <laughs> I'm I'm more of a Torp guy myself. Just saying, 
There's a couple supers that have my Torb Raven as top damage on their kill now. Uh, we've got 30 seconds left in the match. Looks like it's gonna wrap it up. Oh, did we lose the uh, hook bill? Yes, we did. That's gonna wrap up the match. Mildly intoxicated with a 50 point win, but Black Legion is not out of it yet. A solid 20 points. Uh, yeah, so 15 seconds left for the hook bill left on Black Legion. Sorry there, guys. I lost lag. Yep. Five seconds Elo, left. Elo Knight took bill is about 60% uh, shields. I don't think they're going to be able to get it down. Match is over. Alrighty. Elo Knight pulling out with the hero hook bill. Just barely surviving, preventing that perfect win from Miley Intoxicated. Can't wait to see you guys back next match. Going to be super cool once again.